The next question in the C++ series is string. Here they have declared a variable of type string and they have stored string abc in that variable and also with the help of dot size function we can calculate the length of the string and with the help of plus operator we can concatenate the string as you can see they have concatenated abc and def over here and we'll take a look at sample input here at sample input they have provided us with the string at first and also a second string we have to uh, output the length of first string then the length of second string and after that on second line we we have to concatenate these two strings and after that what we have to do we have to swap it we have to swap this a with e and e with a vice versa you can see over here so what we'll do we'll move to code first we'll declare variables of type string st string a and b and now we are going to take the input of this string from user for that will require c in a and b okay and now what you have to do we first have to print its length first we have to print length of first string and then of second string c out a dot size And we want space in middle as they have shown it over here. So we'll take space in middle and now we'll print size of B. Okay. And we are going to write end L. It will send control to next line. So that's it. And now what we have to do, we have to concatenate the string on second line c out a plus b and again we have to use end l because we want to send control to the next line and now what are we going to do we are going to swap this a uh, this a with e and e with a so for that what we'll do uh, we'll take another variable of type character will initialize variable as a1 and inside that we are going to store the element of a so this is a string so from this a string we want to store the value which is at index position 0 that is a so we are storing a in it and now we are going to store uh, e in this a2 variable this e we are going to store now b0 and now we are just going to assign this value to them respectively at first we will take it off age and inside a we have to print e which is this a2 is equal to a2 and inside b we have to print this a that's it c out and we have to print them at last a and there should be space between them and now we'll run the code and we'll check if there is any error in this code or not yes it is working fine we'll check it for rest of the test cases yes it is working for the rest of the test cases too so the solution for all the other questions in this series are available on my channel and if you have any query let me know in the comment section given below and also thank you guys for watching this video